Hey guys, you're watching Zibon and Lally. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Springfield. Episode 63. For some reason, that name, that number, uh, sort of rings a bit of a bell to me. What's this giant hole in the ground? I have no idea. Now, there is something that I'm going to point out to you at the beginning of this episode. Load up, world! Uh, and that's the uh, Minecraft servers went down recently. And uh, I've came onto the world and it seems to have reset my sounds. I think I've got it somewhere around what I uh, had it at before. But if the blocks sound a little bit louder or quieter than usual, uh, I do apologise. I can't remember what my settings were at. So uh, let me know in the comment section below of this video uh, if it's good, if it's fine, or if it's a little bit too loud or a little bit too quiet. Uh, it's mainly just the block pacing sound because we don't have um, music on this series because I don't like the uh, the Minecraft theme song <clears throat> while I'm building. Oh, I've uh, only just up, so I've got a little bit of a, a voice box problem here. Uh, so Cosington's is the building that we're doing today. It's sort of like a, um, not quite a mall, but it's a big department store. You can see in the windows it has some clothes and furniture up that end. I think it also sells food and stuff like that. Many, many characters have actually worked uh, here over time, over the series. I think uh, Homer even worked here maybe as Santa, if I remember rightly. I might be wrong there. Uh, but anyway, we're going to crack on with it today. I'm hoping to actually be... <clears throat> Voice, come back. <coughs> I'm hoping... No, it's still not there. Okay, I'm fine. I'm alive. I think I've got my voice under control again. <clears throat> it seems to be going a little bit uh, at the moment. I don't really know what it is. Maybe I've just been recording too much. Maybe I'll go a week without recording and, and get it better. Does that sound good, guys? I don't think you'll like that. Okay, so, uh, Cosington's, I'll hopefully have a picture up on the uh, on the top there so you'll be able to see it. Uh, but it's got a really cool shape that I think we can do here in Minecraft quite well. I've cut down some blue here to go around the windows. And I just need to sort of pace out exactly how big these windows are going to be. I think I've got some sort of, uh, of size that I like. There, there, there. Did I cut down a little blue one? Oh, I, I've got thinner blue ones. Should I use the thinner ones? They are pretty big, though, on the picture. No, I think I'm going to go with with the smaller ones. So we'll take these away and replace them with the smaller ones here. These ones. And I've also cut down the little nooks for this as well. So it's got a really cool uh, color palette this building does. And uh, I went through for quite a while trying to find uh, colors that were as close to uh, what we have in Minecraft. They're not exactly the same, but it'll, it'll make a little bit of a, a difference if we can get them a little bit closer, maybe. But that looks pretty cool. And then there's a three windows. So we'll have the second one here. And those go across the top. And then the third one is here that also wraps around the side, uh, which we shall do uh, later on. Once we, uh, once we do this side. I always like to work on sort of one, one face of the building first. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to get this clay. This is the closest colour I could get to this sort of start colour, if you like. And I think I want to have a block up here. And then have it come down this way. And I think maybe two blocks looks about right for the distance to the door here. And the door, I've cut down a half, a half glass block here. Which I'm going to put on this level. I think we could use full blocks. It wouldn't really make too much of a difference. In fact, it wouldn't make any difference. But I'm going to do it like that. And we'll put in another door here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then the large blue goes around the outside here. Up that side and up that side. I presume it goes along the top even though we can't see it because it's hidden up by other parts of the building. And then we go around with some grey. Which I've already got pre-cut. Uh, to sort of make the uh, automatic doors. You know, these are like automatic sliding doors. That you get on most sort of large buildings. Or in fact, um, every... Pretty sure it's nearly at least every supermarket in the UK has automatic sliding doors. It would suck if you had to open the doors by yourself with a trolley. Okay, I like that. And then that is replicated on here. 
and it's also replicated exactly the same down this side and then the back i'm not actually going to put two doors in uh, around the other two sides i think we might just have a flat area or i might let it drop in but just have windows there instead but because it's a fairly large building and this is just going to be a repetitive part i'm going to cut this out put in the uh, the uh, four sides up to that height uh, you guys know how to do it by now and I shall be back uh, afterwards all right I've got Cosington's written all the way down I must say before I get flooded in the comment section about me saying it wrong it's my my accent that makes me uh, sound like I'm saying it wrong I do know if you read it slowly and properly it says costing tons as in it costs a ton it's like a, a pun costing tons it costs a lot uh, but with my accent it ends up being Cosington's uh, so <laughs> that's the only reason why it's, it might sound weird to you so that's looking pretty cool now all the way around the outside that does look really really nice and uh, now we need to work out exactly how tall and wide and stuff these windows are going to be I'm thinking the glass itself is going to be two by two okay oh yeah i did also notice a little detail that we missed uh on here we need to have like that and that and then there's one on this side it's a really subtle detail the picture that i've got in front of me uh and that you'll see on screen is um is the christmas edition of uh, a version of this building which is why it might look uh, a little bit sort of wintry and snow covered. <laughs> it's just because it was this was released, I think, um, uh, Christmas or December 2013 on the Tapped Out game. So I'll see when it was released, it had snow on it. So most of the pictures have, have snow on them. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm trying to work out exactly how these windows are going to go because we need... I'm thinking about cutting, cutting these ones down, these white ones here in half to then go along the bottom but I want to sink it back in one so that would be back here how would we then fill up this gap well this would have to be the green but we can use a, a full block for that so it's not quite as hard to hit or hard to place and then the glass I would then want to do another block back so I'd rather do the glass on this level see that looks pretty cool and then the uh, the bits would go there and there. And we would have thin ones going around the side here. Just because it, it really makes it stand out. It makes the building look so much cooler. And then this goes up here. But the yellow doesn't go through the middle. The next window just starts directly above that. And it's four windows high. So if we've done four windows high. And each window, well it's four but that's there. So one, two, three would be window number two. If I put that along there, I'll then know and I won't be able to get it wrong. One, two, three. Oops. There and there. Oh, not there. And then one more, isn't it? There, there and there. And then this comes Oops. on those ones. And that gives us our, uh, our high of the building, or nearly at least, because we've got the roof to go above this. But that, that looks about right to scale on the picture. That is a pretty much like bang on. I'm very, very pleased with that. Uh, but that requires us doing it now on all of these levels. We shouldn't be too hard. Is there a... I think what I can do is if I use stone, I should be able to get away with putting stone along here. And uh, I can go up pretty much as far as I want because I can always delete them afterwards. And then if we go up here, I'm just trying to think about the uh, fastest way to do this using uh, a little bit of world edit magic, uh, black magic here. Uh, so from there to there, uh, 1594. Boop. And then this one. And this one. The glass shouldn't be a problem to do. We can do that pretty easily. Yep, like so. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't want to go right up to the top though did I okay and then all the windows go in there that is an off-camera job you really don't want to sit through <laughs> with me placing all those windows down believe me 
You really, really don't. I know this has been a, a, an episode that has a lot of cutaways in it, uh, but it is quite a large building. And believe me, if I had a three hour long episode of building this, or it wouldn't be three hours long, that's a bit of a lie. Uh, it would maybe be one hour, 15 minutes, roughly, if we'd done everything on camera. You would be bored out of your mind and you would never come back for a future video because it is so, um, so long to do. I thought I had something placed wrong then. One, two, oops. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got it right. I got it right. One, two. It takes so long to do these buildings, and, and without cutting them away, we end up with so many boring stuff you wouldn't even believe. So, I need to lift this up all the way around all of the sides. Uh, the glass. I mean, that should be pretty easy to put in. We can even uh, cheat, really. And we can go from there uh, to here. And set to glass, because nothing else needs to be on that face anyway. And then that can go all the way down to there. Boop. And then this can go down to here. I'm trying to give you guys tips in case uh, you are building this on your own worlds and you don't want to... Um, uh, oh yeah, we've just done it a little bit too far. Uh, and you don't want to uh, place them all down by yourself if you've got the privilege of being able to do this on PC like I do. Uh, then these little world edit tricks that I sort of work out uh, will be very, very handy for you. And that is completely off. And that's maybe why you don't use world edit. <laughs> there to there. Oh man, oh I don't undo. Redo. Set to glass. Take these ones away. Alright, wonderful. I'm going to put the yellow up around the outside. Uh, put the details in. And then we'll be back for the last bit, which is the roof. Which requires no cutting away. I shall be right back. It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Last window. Do 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 do. Ha ha. It looks pretty cool. I like that. So the roof is just one last little bit, and then we can experiment around uh, with some quick color changes if we do so wish. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do that and that. I'm going to take that off. I can now hopefully remove that and not need that ever ever again. And at least not on this build. We go from there to there. Set to stone. Ta-da for the ceiling. And then this goes around the outside. Like this. I don't think I've missed anything. But I was thinking while I was doing the windows here. These aren't doors down here. These are just windows. But to be able to see into them for the point of having windows. People would have to walk up and down here. So what I was thinking was eventually maybe on like a, an in-between episode uh, of doing buildings. We can actually do like a little park with benches and trees. And, and maybe a little fountain or something like that. And make this like a little mini shopping center. I don't know. It was just a just an idea. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it could could be pretty cool though. All right. So this is going to come all the way uh, around the exterior of this top here. There's a few little aircon units as well that we can put in. They don't take two seconds. Uh, they they look square, so they can just be full blocks. Uh, uh. It's quite a big building. Uh, building these, most of these houses, in fact, on this Simpsons world, are actually a lot bigger than what you think they are. Because, for one, they look smaller because we do our doors three blocks high and two blocks wide. When a normal Minecraft door is one block wide and two blocks high. So when you actually, um, when your eyes look at it, it looks like it's, it's sort of uh, an average size building. When actually your door would actually be up to here normally. Do you know what I mean? Like a Minecraft door. And maybe you'd have a house up to this level maximum. You would never or very rarely would you build a a, um, a house this tall on a normal survival world. Uh, or even on a, on a creative world in fact. It's just because we're doing our doors three blocks high here. It makes everything look a little bit uh, bigger. Well, makes everything look smaller, actually, when they're actually bigger than what they look. Man, <laughs> what a confusing tongue twist to start of the day. It's only, it's before midday for me here still, so you can imagine what time it was when I first started recording this. 
Maybe you can understand why my voice goes a little bit funny sometimes at this time of the day. I'm not I'm not built to be up at this time. That's for sure. This is a beautiful cobblestone texture by the way. I love this for little aircon units. And then we'll have one more in there like that. That looks pretty good. And I think the building itself is done. I, I like the look of it. What we can do if we really, really wanted to would be to go around. Oops. Oops. Go around here. And then that gives us our little lip that we like to have. So this uh, edge is taller than the rest of the building. Do I like that though? I think it makes this look Actually, I do like it. There's no there's no way around it. I do like that. And then we'll end off by uh, changing the color of the building to see if we prefer that over um, over the yellow. Okay, let's just whip this around very, very quickly. There's no world edit shortcut for this, though, unfortunately. But if I'm nice and accurate with my block placing this early in the morning, I should be able to not make a mistake for the entire perimeter. What do you reckon? I reckon that's very, very unlikely. Oh, I clicked them, but it didn't place it. I still haven't done it wrong. Eh, there. Come on now, nice and quickly. Efficiently, but quickly. Looking good. Looking good. Ah. <laughs> we didn't even get halfway around. And that one. And then down here. Nearly there, guys. It might seem like a little bit of a long process, but I have cut out a lot this episode. I don't want to cut out anymore. I don't want you guys to miss any more of the building along here. I think it's a good location as well. We're right by Moe's. Uh, it said when I read about it in like the blurb, if you like, of, uh, of this building, it said that it's located in downtown Springfield. And this is definitely downtown Springfield for sure. Um, so it, it, it is roughly where it's meant to be. It might be... Uh, a little bit further down or something like that. But there is no real Simpsons map. Yes, there are um, uh, maps that people have made that make sense in a lot of places. But there's no official map. You can place it wherever you like. It's just someone what someone thought where the things might go. I like that. That makes that top a little bit thicker as well. That really does finish off the building. So, let's check out what colour did we want. 159.8 was the other colour that we were originally going to use. So, if I click there... And I click here and then back off so we get like a, an overview of the building. We can go uh, replace 159.4 with 159.8. And we changed the color of the building. I like the yellow better than that. If I go to an undo, let's just type in undo. Yeah, I think I prefer the yellow. It is quite cool, though, that we can um, do whatever colours we want. We can just choose a colour and uh, and it'll just change for us. Zero blocks. There's no ID called that, huh? How very strange. What about this one? No blocks have been replaced. Oh, no, because we're not that colour anymore, are we? That with, uh, that with 159.3. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, and then we'll put it back to yellow. But anyway, guys, that's a pretty cool world uh, edit trick that you can do to change the color of an entire building if you so wish. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.